Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle and MX. In this DCS F18C Hornet video, we'll take a look at a new weapon coming to the Hornet, the AGM-84H Slam ER. Now, building upon the lessons from the AGM-84E Slam, the Slam ER adds greater range, a more effective man -in loop or middle guidance system, and the ability to create intermediate steer points to reach the target. The missile is armed with an 800-pound warhead. The Slam ER is a long-range precision strike weapon and has a range of 155 nautical miles. The system can be launched at a known coordinate using GPS INS guidance in a fire-and-forget mode or guide to a coordinate and allow the pilot to manually steer the missile with its infrared seeker to a target of opportunity. Middle also allows attacking movie targets. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started and jumping in the aircraft, let's take a look at the mission plan first. So first I'm going to be starting here uh, to the southwest of Cyprus. And we have our target here at uh, waypoint 4. And we have some evil C-130s here on the ramp. And what we're going to do is we're going to be attacking it with uh, two different slime ERs. We're going to have one come from the north and then a second one come from the south. So what's going to happen is for the first one, we're going to have uh, intermediate steer points at two, three, and the target point at four. And then the uh, second one, we're going to have its intermediate steer points from six to five and then to four. So let's see how this plays out in the mission. Okay, so let's take a look at how to use these bad boys. Uh, as you might imagine, the first thing we'll do is go to the air ground master mode. And here on the left DDI, we have the Smith page. Let's uh, activate the uh, SLAM ER or SLMR, as well as the uh, uh, AWW13 data link pod. Now note, if you're not going to use middle uh, with the uh, man in the loop, you do not need the pod. If you don't use the pod, you can have the weapon uh, automatically fire and forget, go to the designated uh, ground location. But in this case, we'll go ahead and we'll do the middle. And just like the older SLAM, we have uh, options for both uh, pre-planned uh, based on an existing coordinate or target of opportunity. And we're going to use a TOO in this case uh, based on waypoint 4 where the targets are. So let's go waypoint, waypoint 4, weapon designate. Uh, next to it we have our timing right now 9 minutes and 16 seconds. We're waiting that to count down to 7 minutes and 30 seconds for full alignment. Uh, you can see here at the bottom our alignment quality of 07 which is unsat. Uh, below that, we have our flight profiles. Right now, our medium profile, high profile, and low profile. We'll do medium in this case. Below that, we have our e fuse. Right now, it's set to off, as you can see. Click on that. Now it's instantaneous. At the bottom here, we have our WEP. So this is station two, this is station eight. Let's go station eight first. And now we have our time to maximum range of 99 seconds. Below that, our TTS, or time to sensor, at 999. Now, as I mentioned, uh, our uh, terminal point is going to be at waypoint 4, but we can actually have up to five intermediate steer points that the missile will fly before it reaches that point. So we'll go to STP. STP1 is the first uh, steer point the missile will fly to. So let's click on that. Let's make it a waypoint. In this case, waypoint two and enter. We automatically now have strip point two available. So we'll click on that waypoint and make that waypoint three and enter. So in this case, what will happen is once the missile comes off the jet, it's going to fly to waypoint two in our database, then waypoint three, and then to waypoint four where the target is going to be. Looking at our slam display, uh, the item we're interested in here is USC and distance. So by default, uh, if you have middle enabled, the sensor will come on 10 miles from the target by default. But we can change that. So right now I have distance set to 20. And now the seagull will come on at 20 miles. For the release type, we'll go manual, mission, double check, station 8, TOO, slammer. And this is our target coordinate in return. And double checking the data again. Uh, ready on station 8, flight profile medium. If you use instantaneous, distance is 20. Time to maximum range is 37, 36. We 
You can also see up here in the HUD, 33, 32. On the HSI, zoom back out. Uh, the target is right here in the middle, which is a waypoint four, and the ring around it represents the time to maximum range, which you see is 15 seconds now. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, in range, as indicated here on the HUD, also on the DDI, and weapon release. Okay, so one away, and again, this is the one that's gonna be coming from the north. Now let's do the one from the south. So to select the next one, let's go step. See, it's ready. Target of opportunity, already in range. Steer point four, or waypoint four is our target. Flight is medium. If you use instantaneous, distance is 10 miles. Let's go to station two. Back to the steer points. So in this case, we're gonna go in from the south. So the first one it's gonna be going to is waypoint six and enter. And then after that, it will go to waypoint five. And then after that, it will go to waypoint four where the target is. For slam display, back to the USC, distance, 20 miles. Release type manual. Checked our mission data, station two, TOO, slammer, all good. Return, distance 20 miles in range. And weapon away. So in this uh, lesson, I'm gonna use in the autopilot quite a bit. And uh, let's uh, do something we haven't done before. Let's go to uh, the data page on the HSI. Go to aircraft, and here we have TAC blim or nav blim. And what this does is it limits the amount of bank angle and roll rate when in autopilot mode. So in nav blim, it will limit to uh, 30 degrees of bank and a lower roll rate, whereas in Tack blam, it will be up to 60 degrees and a faster roll rate. But uh, kind of a lazy mood today, so let's keep it in uh, nap blam. Come back out. Sequence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly roughly to the uh, western coast here of Cyprus and then establish a holding pattern uh, standoff as those weapons come in. Take a look at this is the F10 map. So we can already see them starting to uh, deviate to the targets. Let's go ahead and do a little time acceleration. So again, the missile here is going to waypoint two in the database and the one on the south is going to waypoint six in the database. And again, this is waypoint four over here. This is our southern missile. So we start establishing my holding pattern now. 
campaign. Actually, I like to use the uh, the heading function. So let's do look at the map. Let's do a heading of uh, just north to begin with. So we'll set the heading bug to north. Autopilot heading select. And notice because we had uh, nav blim on, it uh, kept the bank angle to 30 degrees. And here we can see the uh, southern coast of Turkey, and of course this is Cyprus right here. Next, let's go to the main tack page. Now we have our DL13 display. Right now we're in channel two, which is the missile coming from the south. But I think the one from the north is gonna get there first. So let's change that to channel eight. So we'll go UFC, channel, channel eight, and enter. So now we're on channel eight. And here we have six point, uh, 62 uh, miles. And this indicates the uh, distance between the missile and the target point. And it's also in a centroid track or the uh, CENT. But if we wanted to, we could also then go to the second one, again, by going to the channel, channel two. And now we're in uh, the second missile. We can see actually not too far of a distance change between the two. Let's go back to eight. If the uh, target were to be behind our six nine line, uh, then we go to the aft antenna function here. But, you know, given that it's uh, more or less in front of us still, we'll go ahead and keep it in the forward antenna. And once we actually start to get video picture, we also have the option to go to the symbology, either white or black, make it a little more readable. So for the, uh, the weapon, we see that our time to sensor is about 210 seconds. Some of you guys may recognize that airfield. So that's our southern missile, and here's our northern missile. And once we go into a middle, obviously we're going to be controlling the missile and we're going to need to do that with the uh, TDC control. So let's go ahead and assign the TDC right now to the uh, right DDI by going right on the sensor control switch. And we do that. It's a little hard to see, but there's a diamond up here in the corner indicating that the uh, TDC is now assigned to this display. F10. A little time acceleration. Okay, let's set a new heading for the aircraft, say about mm, 130. Okay, so this will uh, place the, uh, the targets and the missiles off our left wing. Uh, with a good data link picture. And naturally, uh, when you have a data link like this, you know, the higher you are, uh, the less chance you're gonna have to deal with uh, anything blocking the uh, line of sight between you and that missile. So Northern Missile is about 30 miles from the target. Uh, let's check on the status of the second missile. 22. Actually, it looks like the Southern's going to get there first. Let's uh, keep it on this one. Only about uh, 22 miles. Actually, the, the Seeker should come on momentarily once this gets to 20 miles.
Okay, middle function is on. We got the seeker now. We have our field of view control. We can zoom in, and zoom back out. And like I said before, we have our white and black uh, symbology options as well. Yeah, this is the uh, older uh, FLIR technology in this video. It'll obviously, it'll be uh, a bit easier to read and nicer looking once we have the new FLIR, FLIR technology integrated. And what you're seeing here is uh, we have this X symbol, which will actually slew uh, to determine where the seeker is going to go. By depressing and holding the TDC and slewing to the target, actually the video also freeze and then once we release, it'll set a new target location that the missile will steer to. Now it'll be a bit more clear here when you show when I show you this in operation. Okay, about eight miles from the target. So for example, I can go ahead and depress the TDC it's in designate and I can slew this around, release, and now it's going to go to that target area. Now I can see this aircraft just a little bit ahead, so I'm going to slew the seeker over this one. Adjusting a little bit. Okay, one down. Now let's go to the other missile on channel 8. So, same thing. We're going to depress and hold the TDC, slew the X over the target, release, and designate that new target location. And you can see now the crosshairs indicate exactly where the missile is now flying to. Which is a little bit off. Let me adjust a little. There we go. And that didn't make. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on the uh, Slam ER, and I will see you next time. Thanks.